What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another weekly roundup. Every time we get a new update, we do this every Thursday. So keep it locked here if you want to stay up to date and you're not at your console early on a Thursday morning. We do it on a Monday as well. But anyway, let's crack on with it, right? So first things first, we will check out if we have anything in authentic match, which we don't, just to confirm that. That is with real teams. Everything available at the moment content-wise and event-wise and campaign-wise is within Dream Team itself, right? So you've got your football league going on, your friend match, your online match, that's all right. Your events this week are as follows. You've still got the starter cup going on, but you've got the Japanese clubs, the Mexican clubs, the Japanese clubs there, which are user matches, and then the Italian clubs versus the AI. Turkish clubs, Italian clubs here, they're all ongoing as well. They're from the last day, and the victory run is 20 days left. That's going to be a tricky one to do on Legend difficulty, lads, um, but I definitely will give it a crack. So other than that, it's rinse and repeat. There's nothing new there whatsoever, right? So that brings us on to the actual menu where they give us some updates, right? So they talk about a new update um, coming, or a new login present coming uh, for the Super League. So there's going to be a chance deal there you'll have in your inbox. We also get a notification of known issues, right? So this was an issue. I had actually a couple of people say this to me, that they were getting kicked out of match rooms and being able to fail to uh, proceed. It's happened to me as well. And then also, luckily, I've never seen this, but after performing a legacy transfer under Dream Team, transi transitioning to the manager's page may result in the finished legacy transfer message being displayed again. So you don't, nothing, nothing was happening. It was still doing the legacy transfer, but people were getting confused because it was a bit of a bug. And then they talk about the friend match as well, um, just about a couple of issues with that. So they said that they're hard at work with fixes and that. Um, and then they also talk about the other issue with they had with the match pass. So I didn't, again, I didn't run into this either. Um, it was just, you know, if anyone was affected by that, uh, they were not displayed. So people were not able to claim the box uh, inbox uh, items, right? So if that affected you, let me know. Um, and the visionary pass. So this was basically as well players that had the visionary pass. Um, you can see there that they've confirmed an issue. It's not displayed, right? So it's currently inactive and is not displayed on these three players. Again, this is just small things. Um, it was just a visual thing, not a big deal. Um, and they say that you're going to get 50,000 GP for that. And then they talk about this 650 million downloads campaign. So the game has reached 650 million downloads across all devices, which is... It's crazy when you think about it, right? It is crazy when you think about it. Um, the campaign name is going to be called 650 Downloads Campaign. Very original. Um, and the rewards are as follows. So if you play between these and you have 50 matches played, you will get 50 eFootball coins. If you play up to 50 matches, you get 150 eFootball coins. So it says to be eligible for the, each reward, you must have advanced that many matches on your match pass. So this is on the match pass, okay? Trial matches and training matches do not count. Everything else does. You will receive the rewards for the campaign shown below when you first log into eFootball 2024. This campaign was held in eFootball 2023. So basically, if you have played more than 50 matches within eFootball 2023, it is kind of a way of saying to, to older fans and veteran guys, instead of somebody that has downloaded the game today or yesterday, uh, listen, if you've played 50 matches in your match pass, here's 150 eFootball coins for you. Basically, that's it, right? We also have all our unclaimed stuff here. I haven't touched this because I wanted to show you guys. So you get your login bonus, you get your startup campaign, you get one more partner club here that is ongoing. Um, and I think we'll get one more as well, uh, which brings us on to the contract situation and the players. So I'll go through this quickly. You have your partner clubs again. So I've already spun for a lot of these guys. And we've got Anthony, we've got Muller, we've got Onana, uh, we've got Romeo as well. Um, so you get one more spin at this. I think this is the last spin. I'm not 100% sure it was free. Or maybe there's one more. There could be one more, actually. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. I think this is the last one because there was one in the item uh, for the event. And then there was the four logins. So that'll be it. Um, so we can spin that and see... Uh, later on on the stream or actually no i'll spin it now for you boys i'll spin it now in the weekly roundup because i always say i'll spin it and then i forget to spin it so we'll spin that here i must do a review on the partner clubs as well let me know if you want um but i don't know anybody that has got like the top two or three guys so we do get a five star could be musiala that would be a good one it is too i think it is no it's tell so tell is actually a very very good player as well uh, he's definitely one of the better kind of super sub type players that you can bring on in the second half. So I'm happy enough with that. But I haven't got any of the top, top players. Um, he's a really good super sub. We've seen him a lot, especially in the esports events and stuff where the stat balancing comes into it. 
he is a demon so that is our player for there you also get your free spin here your free spin here the player of the week i've done a full review on them so it's kind of a tricky enough pack because you've got valverde neymar and shuamene that are quite decent but not excellent they've all got kind of weaknesses navas is a brilliant starter goalkeeper if you want to learn the mechanics of the game and learn um that you do need kind of like a taller goalkeeper but he is a fantastic player to like do manual goalkeeping with if you're trying to learn as a newcomer and give yourself the edge romero and walker are quite decent the rest of the players are kind of miss uh, in my opinion but yeah i have the full review done on that we also have the club america pack which we've got a free one there and that includes 11 players ranging in uh rating and a uh, variety of skills stats whatever you've also got Guad guadalajara uh players as well uh, these guys range from 81 overall to 77 overall they're all on c form as well because the, the club update isn't uh, around this week and we also have the English league selection that's still going there. So Gavardiel is down as his card, which is quite decent. You've got Sancho, you've got Declan Rice, you've got Kluivert, you've got Tete, you've got Busuma, you've got Nicholas Jackson, Ariola, Shang, um, Ewini, and Darren O'Shea, right? So uh, this, again, this is kind of a pack that if you are looking to get Gavardiel, it is a decent player and it is going to be better. I will do a full uh, review on those as well and then the liga bbva listen there's just a lot of packs lads there's a lot of packs um this is the way that it's going to be obviously can is gone and carlos is gone so if you missed out on them you only have three days left in the italian league attackers the rest of the packs here are as follows as well uh, and that's pretty much it lads i mean we are into a cycle now of until we get the next big update um there's going to be nothing really new even in the shop or anything like that you've garrett barry that's still there um there's still 20 days left in jacopino and uh, Percassis and perez there's about 60 days left in them so there is nothing really new content wise there i think we're getting the free strip quite soon as well and um, the strip that you see here in the startup campaign that'll be you know in the next uh login i think yeah so we are actually going to be getting one more highlight partner club to play for so you get six partner club I, uh, epics in our cards or inbox items in total so that is it for me let's just a weekly roundup as we always do if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe we will be back as we said we will be streaming every thursday every friday we'll be banging out the streams um i mean look it's nice that you're kind of throwing a bit of love to different leagues and using the licenses but yeah i don't think we're going to see a brand new kind of direction of content and the stream of content that we're going to be getting until something new comes to the game whether that's a mode whether that's a feature whether that's like you know cups or divisions that have got filter systems for the matchmaking um but we will do a video on that uh quite soon and we'll be talking about it in our live stream later so until then lads don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you're not at your console you're now up to date with everything on offer on thursday talk to you in a bit